guys so I'm back and I'm here for another haul video I know but I wanted to do a haul video of the products that I picked up that weren't necessarily from Mac or NARS like my last video and they're just some things that I picked up during the Sephora VIB Rouge sale it's also for any buyers now you get 15% off so you can definitely go to Sephora and check out some items either from my previous haul videos or even from this haul video and um I didn't pick up too much, I just got things from brands that aren't going to be uh, available at IMATS because I will be at IMATS on the Sunday. Again, I um, couldn't make it to Saturday because all the tickets were sold out. So if you see me at IMATS on Sunday, if you are attending, definitely feel free to come over and say hi, give me a hug please, and t let's take some pictures. I am going to be there alone because again, my cousin and my sister-in-law that usually go with me. The tickets were sold out so they didn't get to get their tickets so um it's all me all by myself <laughs> but they're gonna be quite a few um youtubers gurus um instagrammers that are gonna be there that i'm excited to see as well so if you see me definitely come up and say hi even though i may look like i am caught out there in the headlights by my damn self Oh, Jesus, I'm going to be so alone. I won't be there for too long, but definitely come and say hi. So let's move on to the actual haul. So some of the first things that I picked up are not available as yet at Sephora or Ulta stores, but you can definitely get them from the Too Faced website, and these are the melted lipstick, liquid lipsticks from Too Faced. And they're going to be in Sephora and Ulta stores soon, but now they're only on the Too Faced website. Now, something that I figured out, and don't tell anybody I told you this, is that if you sign up for their email notifications on Too Faced, you'll get a 20% off discount that you can use for your first purchase. And so just sign up for the email first, get your email notification, use that um, code, and get 20% off these things. Cause yeah, anybody, everybody loves a discount. So I got 20% off, which is better than the 50% off Sephora anyway. And I grabbed four of the shades. I grabbed the Melted Fuchsia, um, the Melted Violet, melted coral and melted nude and they're all in the color of the actual pro the tubes are in the color of the actual product inside and let me just do swatches so you can check them out so here are all the shades here this is fu melted fuchsia melted violet melted coral and melted nude as you can see these are such gorgeous shades but i must mention something about them so these are obviously gorgeous shades i'm actually wearing the nude one right now on my lips but i must mention that they don't wear the best on the lips they say they're long wear but what i found is when they start wearing off your lips or start fading they kind of ball up in the middle of your lip like on the little inner part of your lips and give this film that's not attractive at all it's kind of gross the way it fades off your lips so be mindful of that I really hate that it does that but they're pretty colors but you're gonna have to bring these reapply and definitely watch the wear of these because they don't wear very nicely at all now you guys may know that Sephora carries the Becca brand which is this elusive brand that I can only find at Sephora or Becca online and these products are amazing you can even find them in store at some sephora stores but they're not at all sephora stores but um these products are great they're known for their face products so they're um this is the ever matte poreless priming perfector so their primers their foundations their um skin perfectors they're known for and they have some gorgeous highlighters so i had to pick up some stuff and one of the first things i picked up was the becca ultimate coverage complexion cream which is a full coverage foundation and the shade I got was amber and this is a really thick full coverage well not thick I shouldn't say it's thick it's a really creamy full coverage foundation and you can see it there on my arm it's really full coverage it covers everything so if you're looking for a nice full coverage foundation then this is a great one to check out and the shade that I got amber is actually a nice fit for my complexion so I really love this and I'm glad I picked it up and I also picked up the Radiant Skin Satin Finish Foundation which is in the shade Tobacco and this is a more satin finish rather than a matte and I think the ultimate coverage one is matte like a natural matte it's not really a shimmery satin finish foundation and as you can see this one gives more of a glow to the skin 
and it's lightweight so it's not going to give you a full coverage but it's like a medium coverage and you can definitely share it out and this one is out of the norm for me because I usually get matte foundations because I'm very oily so I tend to go for matte foundations over glowy foundations but my skin has been so dry because of this winter I had to get something glowy to la and then I just powder the t-zone to keep it at the oils at bay but this one I had to get and it's actually really gorgeous I'm wearing it now actually and it gives a nice coverage and I definitely powdered it down but it gives a nice natural coverage then next from Becca I picked up the shimmery skin perfector pressed in the shade opal and this is a gorgeous pressed highlighter and this is just so gorgeous I can't even do you see that shimmery champagne on my oh it's so gorgeous and there you can see an up close of the glow that it gives to your skin and this is a heavy swatch so you can definitely blend it out so it gives a lighter coverage on your skin but as you can see it gives a great glow to the skin and they also have these in liquid form so you can pick up the liquid form and mix it with your foundation or um, just apply it to the high points of your face to give it a nice glow I also have already the topaz shade I just oh god it's broken okay one thing about these they break easily so be very careful how you handle them you definitely don't want to drop them or miss of course you're mistakenly dropping them but be very careful because they will shatter but this is the topaz shade if you're interested in seeing that one and this one is more of a golden bronze shade against my skin so right now the opal shade is sold out online I believe and it's also sold out in most stores so you have to hunt it down and it's funny because I used the mobile app to order mine because it was sold out in the store that I went to but they have the mobile app and I was able to order the opal shade for some reason but when I check it on the regular website it shows up as sold out so I don't know what's going on if you can't get it on the regular website try the um the mobile app and see if you can pick it up that way and another thing I picked up from Becca is the one perfecting brush which is made of goat hair and it looks like this it's a flat top um, kind of buffing brush and it's pretty large compared to my face as you can see but you can use this to apply foundation powder contour blush all that good stuff bronzer and um, it's really soft it's made of like it said goat hair so it's really soft see the one thing I read on the reviews is that it sheds like crazy and I just had two hairs fall out so I hope that's not the case but I'm gonna keep the packaging just in case I need to return it because if it sheds too much it's going back because watch that one more come on Lord Martha see I hope it doesn't shed too much because I really love how it feels and I'm excited about it so please don't shed on me now since I'm obsessed with foundation I also picked up the Veil Fluid Makeup from Hourglass and I think I already picked up this this um, this foundation and I don't know why I can't find it I think I returned it and got the um, the Immaculate um, Liquid Powder one and I don't really love that one too much and like I said I was looking for more glowy foundations now for some reason and the shade I picked up is Sable which is number six I think this is the darkest shade and as you can see it gives a nice glow to the skin but I, it, I definitely need a tan with this but it's so glowy and pretty versus the immaculate liquid powder foundation which is more matte so I'm glad I picked this one up I think I returned it before because it was too glowy on my skin so how ironic is it that I'm going back now for glowy foundations when before I was like no I need matte all the way now I'm picking up glow girl glow and then I grabbed the Clinique Super Primer, which is a universal face primer for dry combination to oily skin. So, you mister, you're supposed to be awesome. And the reason I picked this up, it's, it's a white, like a white cream and it applies clear, is because I have a sample of it. And this is how I'm catching a samples are the devil. I tried it out as a sample and it really felt great on my skin so I picked it up full size so this is how they get you and that's what samples are for but this applies really nicely to the skin it doesn't give a um, mattifying finish but it gives a slightly satin finish it's not glowy at all but it definitely helps to hold your foundation in place and I really liked it so I picked it up 
And then also from Sephora, I grabbed some cup, a couple of pigments from Ardency In, which again is one of those brands that you can only get at Sephora and probably the actual brand website. And this is Brighton Social and Purple Hearts. These are little shimmery pigments and they get really messy because of this little opening that they have. So as you see, it has this like weird hole in the middle and you're supposed to get the pigment out of that. But it gets messy sometimes when you try to get too much of the pigment out at once. So here they are applied dry and wet. As you can see, uh, well, when it's applied wet, the sheen just picks up like crazy. Look at this purple heart. It's what? That's such a great smoky eye. It's amazing. So these are really expensive products. So I had to just get take them when I could get a discount on them for sure. Then apart from the Sephora sale, I grabbed a couple of lipsticks from Lime Crime, which I wish I had waited because they're going to be at IMATS as well. I picked up the shade Cosmo Pop, which I've been seeing and loving. It's this Carly, this nice peach Carly shade. And I also got um, the Lilac, which is a lilac shade. And I grabbed these because... These are really pigmented. Um, Lime Crime had a little bit of controversy early on in um, the brand's history. And yeah, they had they turned me off a bit, but I absolutely love their eyeshadow primer, their eyeshadow helper. So I'm going to pick this up at IMAX when I can. And then these are the lipsticks. Like I said, this is the Lilac and this is Cosmo Pop. So as you can see, they're really creamy and opaque lipsticks. And I'm going to definitely check out a few more things from this brand when I go to IMAX. I'm the type of person that will give a brand a second chance if they actually have great products. So I'm just going to get over the, the sordid history that they have with beauty bloggers and just go with it. So when I went to Sephora, the first things I wanted to check out were the Lancome Lip Lover lip glosses, which are new on the scene. And I was so excited to check them out. But then when I actually swatched them in store, which is, I glad, I'm glad I waited to swatch them in store. They're actually pretty sheer. And the only color I really fell in love with is, what shade is this? Orange Menage. But that's not how Menage is spelled, right? Well, whatever. This shade is really pretty and it's one of the more opaque shades that I saw. And the other shades kind of all swatch similar to each other so I wasn't really excited about picking up any of the other colors. And then the last things that I picked up were from Makeup Geek which I was so excited. I was waiting for it to come back in stock and that's the Utopia Pigment which everybody and their mama has been preaching about. Now, Makeup Geek, I love Marlena and I've actually worked with Marlena one-on-one. -on -one. I used to contribute to her website um, back in the day. So I love Marlena, I love her beautiful spirit and I actually, I love to support her herself, like her brand, her products are really nice and I love supporting people that are up and coming, they're trying to make their mark in the beauty scene and they're genuinely nice people. I'll support her all day, every day. So Marlena, I absolutely love you and I'm glad to pick up a couple of your products. This is the shade Utopia. I got Liquid Gold and Blitz Pigment. There's another one that I want to pick up but it's sold out right now which is a nice little highlight shade. So I'm going to keep my eye out for that one. And I also picked up two more of her eyeshadows and I put them in my little MAC palette. This is the old style MAC palette. The black shade is Corrupt, which is this really rich black matte shade. And then the other shade is Drama Queen, which is a shimmery burgundy shade. And I'm going to swatch these so you can check them out. So here are the shades swatched on my arm. This is Liquid Gold. Can you even? Don't you want to die? This is like a bright yellow gold. It does look like Liquid Gold. And there's a little bit of a old gold green flash to it, but it's so gorgeous. Drama Queen, again, is that dark burgundy shade with a little bit of sparkle to it. And then this is Corrupt, the rich black shade, which is one of, I'm mean, all right, I'm going to admit it. This is the blackest black I've ever used apart from um, the Inglot black pigment and the black back from pigment from MAC. So unless it's a loose pigment, a pressed pigment, this pressed eyeshadow, this is the blackest I've ever used. Love it. Then this is Utopia Doll, and this is the one I wanted. It's a chunky glitter, and you apply it wet. It gives you all of this glory. I hope she does a few more shades like these. These remind me of the Stila Magnificent Metals, what they could be, but they're not. So it, I would love, Marlena, if you did a little bit more of these shades. 
similar to the Stila colors. Oh my god. And then this is Blitz, which is just a similarly ru uh, shimmery rust shade. Absolutely love. So those shades are really gorgeous. I will admit that the pressed eyeshadows feel a little grainy, a little gritty. And I mean, that means that they're not as finely milled as they could be. But they don't feel gritty and uncomfortable on your eyelids when you're applying them. So don't worry about that. But I'll just say that, alright, um, they feel a little dry and gritty against the skin. The, old, the liquid gold is the smoothest shade out of all of them. Because obviously it's metallic so it's going to be the smooth shade. Utopia again is gritty. It has, um, it's a chunkier glitter so be mindful of that. And then um, Blitz isn't too bad. It's not the smoothest but again... These are so reasonably priced that you can't expect the ultimate finely milled pigments at all. So those are all the things that I picked up personally, but I also wanted to share a couple of items that I got sent by the um, promo team from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I absolutely love her brow products. I use them religiously. Those are my go-to brow items. I got sent the Pro um, Brow Palette. Bro brow Pro Palettes and this has the majority of the shades available from Anastasia and a few that aren't available singly. These are used for your brows and I actually have the single one in brunette. No, this is ebony which I use, used for my brows and you have a great selection of powders here. And I told you before that I love Anastasia because the brow colors actually fit brow shades so it's not going to be too red or too caramel you can find your perfect shade and I mean she does have an auburn um, duo and that's meant for redheads so obviously that will be more red toned and caramel for more caramel toned blonde hair but there are other shades here that are more ashy like um, ash brown which is meant for you know a more ashy undertone in your hair so you can definitely find your perfect shade here and this is great for makeup artists if um, you do a lot of different hair colors and skin tones you'll find the perfect shade here and you can mix and match to create your perfect brow color and I absolutely love this this is not going to be sold at Sephora or Ulta she said this is only available on our website and I think it's worth it for professionals or if you're just really into brows like I am, you might want to check this out. I wanted to, ch actually I was going to buy this and it was sent to me and I was like, yes, score. So I'm going to do a review on this. Let me know if you want to see this. I have a review lined up for her, um, the contour palette because I absolutely love that. And then of course I got the pro concealers and I will put a swatch up so you can check that out. These are the shades that she, she has 10 shades currently available for warm undertones and cool undertones and neutral undertones and oh my god these are so creamy I am so in love with these and again I have a video that I'm gonna finish up for these products they're absolutely glorious so just a quick review creamy pigmented blend nicely if you use it under your eyes you're gonna need to set it with a powder because it will um, settle into the fine lines but it stays put stays in place I use it to highlight and contour can also share it out because it's so creamy and, and, and pigmented that you can use it as a foundation if you share it out. You're going to have to share it out. Use a sponge. I use the Beauty Blender. Absolutely love these if you're interested. The shades may not match you perfectly because there's a kind of gap between the light shades and the dark shades. So um, I think they're going to be adding more shades to the lineup. So these are the kind of initial debut of these products. So stay tuned for more from Anastasia quality products. So definitely check those out if you're interested. Again, if you see me at my IMATS, come and say hi. I would love to meet all of you guys because you guys are the reason I do these videos after all. So I can't even front. Come and see me. I absolutely appreciate your support. And hopefully you saw some items that you might um, be interested in and want to check out. And some that maybe you can keep off your list. Just be mindful of them. And I'll leave lists, a list below of all the products that I mentioned. And as usual, links will be below in the description box to my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. And it's either the Fancy Face or the Fancy Face with a D. And you can definitely check me out there and keep up with me um, every day, you know, day-to-day -day life. So, yeah. Until my next video, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.